shit. I'm gonna do. I'm gonna order that shit when I get off it. Yeah. And we're live, bro. It doesn't. Yeah, I stopped that shit. I no. call this shit out. Nah, he's cool. We're live for another episode of the Opinionated Podcast. We are here with my two co-hosts. Y'all were supposed to introduce yes. himself. Oh, my God. Be no. Honestly, I did that on purpose. I knew what you were doing, and I didn't want to. I didn't want to take part in it. Yeah, why would we be introducing ourselves? Y'all can just. I'm, I'm Kevin long. Rant, and that yeah, is. Did you motherfucking introduce us on the last 150 yeah. podcasts? We <laughs> we are here again for another episode of the Opinion of the Podcast. These two fucking losers, and the screens above me is it's is Andre back. from A1. Oh, Andre from A1 Productions. Ooh. Yes, yeah. that ain't it's it. But okay, no, it's, <laughs> I thought it was a. I know A1 Podcasting, A1 Podcasting and Content Creation. Exactly. So if you need, um, you don't know advice you on how to get. If you need advice on how to start a podcast, oh, here we go. Or where to go? No, that was good. That was podcast. Good. I'll let my man um Andre right there, man, jump in his DMs, his inbox, whatever. Everybody wants to start a podcast. He's at. He has all your answers, and we'll point you in the right direction. And for a small fee, small fee, it might even help you produce one. But um, we're here. It was Thanks, good, guys. How, I'm gonna say all of that comes. It was pretty feet. good. That was pretty yeah. good. I like that. Thank you. Hey, you're welcome, man. Listen, we're supposed to support each other in whatever we do, man. Uh, it take... wasn't the case when I was going through what I was going through, but it's all good. What? What? Yeah, what yeah was you going that through? wasn't the case. We didn't support you. A lot of pussy. No, I'm joking. Oh, I'm about to say, like, bro, you <laughs> you talking to the wrong group of niggas. Like, nigga, these two Wait, on are we fucking live on on? Yes, we're yeah, always bro, live. Yeah, though. Yeah, we are live every every Sunday now. I'm not listening to you fuckers no more. People like seeing us. They think we're not listening to again, you we're fuckers live. no more. <laughs> Fuck these niggas. Listen to myself. We're going live every goddamn Sunday. <laughs> Who said we whether weren't they like supposed it, to be going whether live? Whether they like it or not, we're I'm going been, been switched back. I'm the one who said we should be going live. You're going to say, well, I'm not going to listen to these fuckers. We've been switched back. This nigga yeah, just... Listen, we are live. Motherfuckers oh, is laughing. It's, it's soup. When it's football season, we're live. Let's see who pays attention to it. That's true. That's true. <laughs> and right back uh, at football season. Yeah, we're right back at football season. It seems like we always come back live at football season, but we are can, here. Can we, can we stop there real quick? And I just want to congratulate you guys. You guys are four and zero. You, you guys as well. Thank you, thank you. I, I support you guys. If you don't, if I don't, if we don't make it, then I want y'all oh, to make it. I'm gonna root. I thought we were all both five. And Same eight. here, bro. You know, I don't hate the Eagles. We? Eagles ain't in my division. I, I love them. I even had two Super Bowl. They, they, we play them December third, though. Two. Be, be aware and be afraid. I'm gonna, try, I'm gonna try to get some. If I can get where, tickets, where they, where they, they play? Can they play in playing in Philly? December I would what? love to get tickets. We play in Philly December 3rd, man. I would love to I'm get try tickets. Listen, listen, listen. Because I wanted to, but I couldn't afford them. Even if you don't get the tickets, we could see about going oh, in and man. doing the... Uh, Yo, I'll come up there for that. Dumb no, niggas. Dumb, yeah. Listen, Kev. This ain't going to be like the me watching the Knicks after oh, six. These niggas are different. None of that, man. I don't care about none of that. It's, they're different. I don't they're care about none of that. They're different, though. You know what I'm saying? I'm wearing, my, I'm wearing my Niners jersey, my Niners hat. Not the same. And I'm Yo, gonna be I'm thinking about oh. getting a Trent Williams jersey. Don't think about it, be about it. Bro, just get I'm, a Trent Williams jersey. Now I'm getting me. I'm gonna I'm, 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 I'm gonna look, I'm gonna look online and try to get me a Kev. Because Kev always been buying me 49ers paraphernalia. I'm gonna try to look for a jersey for me. This nigga, I need your size. I'm gonna get this book for Trent Williams jersey, dog. Just mm. just a random gift for me That's to you, like because you always no, nah, because you always buy me 49ers shit. And I said to myself, I like, I like, I, I got to get this nigga. I'm gonna get this nigga. Yeah, family. I know. That's why I'm gonna take care of you, dog. Might get us a both a Trent, a Trent Williams on, dog. Real shit. If I was rich, y'all be rich too. You know that shit. That's That's why I I thought I was gonna hit this billion. I I thought I was gonna hit this billion dollar. I thought I was about to be dropping duffel bags off the yeah in California. Of course, right. That's okay. Yeah, wish, I, him well, wish him well. God bless him. Yeah, God bless him. I thought I was about to be dropping duffel bags off to my niggas at their doorstep. Like, yeah, just open it up <laughs> and bounce. Oh, I'm, trying, I'm, trying, I'm, trying, I'm trying to disappear my damn self, boy. Don't let me get that amount of money. I'm yeah, the only one that's still going to be around if I get a million, if I get a billion dollars. I'll still, still be around, be around. But, dog, when the summer hit, I'm going to be around the world. Ask about me. 
They're gonna have to ask y'all. Y'all gonna be like, y'all, see, y'all ain't seen, you ain't seen Kevin. Mm. I, I don't know where that nigga is, but in reality, y'all know exactly where I'm. At. I'm getting, I'm getting, a, I'm getting a dick enlargement. First thing, dick enlargement. First <laughs> thing, you get, you get a whole, you getting a whole Frank footer. Oh the man, whole thing. Right. Drake will be the first thing a Frank footer. OD on enlargement. One foot. <laughs> <laughs> Put my shit up like a balloon. I'm gonna be out here doing damage. Drake like. Like, yo, I came <laughs> to one person. <laughs> For real, too. And I'm gonna be faithful. Exactly. <laughs> and then it'll be like, yeah, I just walk around. I just walk around my house with a white t-shirt on, and he's just swinging at the bottom, hitting the knees. No like, Bobby. yeah, nobody. No Bobby. <laughs> it's Winnie the Pooh. That's exactly what I plan on doing. I'm gonna walk around, and my dick gonna be like a pendulum. <laughs> and that's it with my knees, not giving a fuck about nothing. That's the first thing I would do if I had that billion dollars. The balls and Johnson thing, balls and Johnson mm-hmm. thing, and a button, nigga. I should just. Hey yo, get the go go gadget dick out of here, bro. <laughs> get your go go gadget dick yes. out of here. This nigga dick gonna be getting big in sections like. Chin, 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 chin. <laughs> Shit gonna do the robot right. It's never mind. Anyway, hey, <laughs> we got going on. <laughs> oh man, today's episode, man. Listen, um, if you want to sponsor us? You know, if you want, to I'm sponsor not sponsored, but yeah, somebody can sponsor. Oh, the Celsius, we get that shit at work. I guess we don't get but, the um, good because the ones I've been giving has just been meh. They don't sell like heat. man. You get the Celsius heat. The Celsius heat for your penis? It, yeah. No, I, I, thought, I thought we still still talking about dick enlargements. I'm like, I'm pretty sure it's gonna be cold because it's fake. I start, start to either, like a, a cold, pad a cold dick. A cold dick is is a dead dick. <laughs> cold dick is a dead. Oh dick. shit! And we don't need them. Put the now we want no bad shit. But um, what are we talking about today? So we're I don't talking know. about today. The fuck? I'm telling you, I'm telling you what we're talking about today, man. It's just um, <laughs> listen, it, it's already hard out here for being being a man and, and and all that shit. It's even harder for trying to date women. It's just like you know, it they come at you with all these standards, and it's cool. It is great, you know, because you want to talk to a guy that has shit going on, you know. Maybe he has an apartment, he has a car, he has a, a, a good paying job, and it's cool. That used to probably somewhat be the norm. Like, you know what? He's moving in the right direction. He's he's doing everything he's supposed to be doing. He's taking care of the responsibilities. But the shit now is like is it, it is really getting out of hand with men, men meeting all these standards. It's like Apartments is not good enough. Uh, yeah, you drive a car, but it's not a BMW. Oh yes, apartments are good enough. I live in one right now. I hate it. They're not good enough. And today, that's what I'm saying. They're not good enough. Okay, you being 22, you got an apartment, or you're 22 and you have a car. It's a nice car. It's running decent. Ain't old and beat the fuck up, but it's just a car. Get you back and forth to work, and you have a job. You're making good money, good money for yourself being 22. But it's like now, and not now, but just women nowadays, they expect you to have a, a mini mansion, the newest BMW, and six figures. I would say that's more of an expectation in the 30s. Like, yeah, that's an expect. Years. Yeah, but they, they're expecting this out of guys. These are young women talking about this shit. Yet, you ask them, so where you where do you live at? I got an apartment over here. Okay. What kind of car you drive? Oh, uh, you know, I'm try- trying to get something better, but I got this to get me back and forth to work. Where you work at? Uh I'm a cashier at Ross. Okay. Okay. And you say you sit back and you scratch your head, so you got an apartment, but you too good to date a guy with also an apartment. You have a car. A year younger than mine, but you expect me to have something a little bit better. And your cash at Ross. Hmm. Marshalls. Sure. Marshalls. Or Marshalls, whatever. I'm pretty sure I make more money than you do at Marshalls. But I can't talk to you because I'm beneath your, you know, beneath your level. And I is I get it. It's cool 
to date somebody and to have some certain standards and everything like that. But don't be approaching people with standards for them and you can't even and you ain't even up to par on that standards. I can see if you had a big ass house. I can see if you had the newest model car and you're a woman. I can see if you was a lord and you'd be like, you know what? Yeah, I can't do that shit. Oh, I don't let me, let me jump feel in. like supporting. No, I don't feel like supporting nobody. Let me let me jump in. So I do think there is multiple, like there's different kinds of well, there's many kinds of people, but if a young woman would like to be taken care of and she's willing to do the other side of it. Like there's, there's a group of women who they go to the NBA games and try to get the NBA player because that's the standard that they set for themselves <laughs> to be, you know, I, I, I'm be honest. I'm gonna call gold diggers. They, they, they set the standard to be gold diggers. They want to be taken care of, but they know the other side where it's like, okay, I'm going to take care of the house. I'm going to take care of it. I'm going to have as many kids as I need to. I'm going to hold everything down here. You know, like every, every woman who wants to be taken care of isn't the worst kind of woman unless they're Steve Nash's wife who fucked everybody else on the team. That's mm. crazy. Wow. I, I, okay, I don't know if y'all are familiar with that. I didn't hear y'all familiar with no. Indulge. Bro, that like, story no. is a fucking crazy. Oh, what team did she fuck? Not the Suns, please, because the Suns was the tightest team. Suns. Ever. Suns. Bro, she, dog, this is the when worst shit ever. Worst shit. This was a while ago. They got divorced. Bro, I'm going to tell you. Can I tell y'all real quick? If I could paraphrase the whole story, because I only, re- hold on. So, Steve Nash, Steve Nash beat it, apparently, or whatever. Who knows? They're NBA players, whatever. She gets pregnant. She has a baby. That baby black. He like, mm. who fucking kid is this? She said, or apparently it was found out that she cheated with, I forget his name now. Fuck, she cheated with one player. And Matrix. Then, and then, no, Sean this Mary. was a while ago, a while ago, a while ago, a while ago. Oh, oh. Um, I, I, once I remember the name, if you look it up now, you'll see everybody's names. So they okay. got the blood test. Wasn't his. It was another teammate's. <laughs> she fucked. Multiple teammates, multiple teammates. You piece of shit. Definitely a yeah. piece of shit. Yeah. Yeah. Well, at least he gets to keep everything. Yeah. Yeah. Get the fuck out. Get That's the fuck proof. out. And you are a whore. Yeah. Sorry. Okay. I mean, okay. I mean, and and then and then just to play devil's advocate, does she really lose? Because she still got an well, NBA child support. pregnant. Yeah, you know, what I mean, support. she's still getting paid for for at least yeah. that child's life. No, she's not gonna you- get it. They let they not letting you in the heaven though. They not letting you in the heaven. No. So 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 <laughs> it's cool now. Now Drace by saying that right, like if you if this woman right says she go to NBA games, like what is her role at home? It should be no fucking. She gets an NBA player. Yeah, because now can you cook? Because that's, that's the thing when you was. If you're a man and and, and, and you bring it up she, and she she's bringing up, all, yeah, she, what? no, 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 no. Make sure the chef get paid. Nah, nah, fuck a chef, motherfucker. I'm not ordering no chef. Can you cook? I'm, an NBA I'm gonna have my. I'm a. I'll make this money. I got you this house. I'm having a family dinner for a, a Christmas family dinner. Don't cater shit. Can you cook? That's a no. That, that's that's probably me. But if you can't cook, that's a flag. How's my house? How's my house look? How's my house ran? Is, is the kids let's, great? Let's is, let's downgrade this from NBA player then, because then cause let's then, downgrade. Yeah. Let's downgrade this to regular person. This is okay. just regular. There you go. This All is right. just regular. Can you cook? Because you're gonna ask me, do I have a house? I say I have a house. Can you cook? I that's really fair. don't know. Yeah, I really don't know how to cook. I, I'm still not. I really don't cook for myself. I eat out on that. I expect to go eat dinner. No, no, no. I ain't asked you all that. You asked me, did I have a house? I asked you, can you cook? Because as a requirement for me having something that you want for us, a house is just stay there. We just gonna we just gonna move down the line for a house. I have the house. I provide the house. I provide the house with a nice kitchen. Pots, everything. I make sure that the the fridge is full of food and everything like that. I work all week. 
I come home, I'm not heating shit up. I'm, I'm not making no peanut butter and jelly sandwich. I'm not throwing nothing in no microwave. And I'm not calling the fuck out. You got, you got the house that you wanted. That's fair. Why can't you cook? And some people, and you know, and a lot of people first response is, is like, oh, you asking sh- uh, shit for, uh, asking for things a wife should be providing. I'm your girlfriend. Nah, fuck all that. Then you won't be my wife ever. Yeah, fuck, fuck all that. I provide, I told you I had a house. Yeah, I got a house. Cool. That's the case. If you, that's what you're saying, as far as you not cooking, because it's, that's something a, a wife provides and I ain't your wife. Okay, go home to your apartment. Make sure you keep your apartment. We live at separate addresses. Some night I stay at your house, some night you stay at my house. Let's keep that separate. Yeah, I have a house. This is my house. You don't, you say you don't cook because that's wife shit. All right, keep your place because that's where you at. Am I wrong in saying that? No. No. Because that's that's called your standards. And just like they can have standards that they want to live by. You can have your standards. I don't think it's a, I don't think it's out of, so if if she's coming to you with her standards and saying, Hey, you got to take care of me. I don't work. And I like to, you know, I like the finer things in life and you give her those things. If you say then, okay, well, I like a woman to be able to cook. I like a woman to be able to clean. I want to come home to a clean house. I want to do X, Y, and Z. This is a conversation you have before you live together. Anyway, if you're smart. If not, then you're going to wind up in a position where it's like this lazy bitch got to go or this other bitch cook. This other fat bitch cooks so damn good that I don't want to leave her house. <laughs> but I'm saying that, I'm is, saying, that is, she's asking for she's asking you to have a house and she wants to be there in your house and you want her to be able to cook in your house. So if she if 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 she thinks that's asking for wifely duties because you want her to cook. Well, then, bitch, me providing shelter for you is husbandly duties. And mm-hmm. when you're done being at my house when I'm there, make sure you take your ass home and make Goodbye, sure you feed yourself. You Goodbye, know what I'm saying? Since I got to do the same thing, because obviously the only thing we're offering to each other is dick and pussy. You, Correct. It has to be reciprocated. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. There ain't no, I'm going to just keep giving to you, giving to you, giving to you, and you're going to give me the bare minimum. Nah, because once I'm done with that bare minimum, I'm done with you too. What else do you have to offer me as a as a companion? You know what I mean? This we ain't we ain't kids no more. You know exactly. what I mean? I'm not I'm not looking for somebody to just be here and think that they're just gonna provide pussy, and that's what the hell is going to keep me satisfied throughout this relationship. You know what I mean? So so that's not so to me that so y'all both agree that's not asking for too much. I provided you the house. That's Stay basic here. shit. That's basic yeah. you shit. Yeah. Cooking is you basic shit, though. Yeah. Cooking is basic cook shit. So, <laughs> for the next thing, I don't cook. Though. I'm just saying, I, I, am I wrong? You should. I should have breakfast on the weekend when I'm home. He be cooking. He be capping. I, I, I cook too, but I, if I want to cook, that's I the would, thing. I, if I, I want, if I want, shit. you should have that option. If you provide right. the house, it's, right? If you provide the house, you should want to cook, right? It's like, hey. You know, I want to cook tonight. That's traditional. I got a woman who, like, you know, whenever I was providing the house, I provide a house again. Just give it, just give it some time. Like, she she came like that. She came out the box like that. Same here. You know, what I'm the saying? thing about that is, you have a woman that you didn't even have to provide the house. Mm-hmm. She would have cooked for you just on some regular shit. If you lived on your own, she lived on her own. You came over, she cooking for you. If she came to your house, she probably be cooking for you. Like that's the type of person that us yeah. as men were, like us three. Well, that's one of the main things we're looking for. And if you can't cook, you got to be able to do something else to be like, all right, well, we'll substitute this for that. Then. Better, you know be what I mean? Better be amazing. Better be amazing. That amazing box. But I'm saying that that's just oh, that's the shit that. that that's the standard. Like, do you want me to provide this house? I'm asking you to do the the cooking thing, but you acting like you you don't have to provide that. It's like. Why the fuck am I lowering my standards and my expectation for you for cooking for me? But your standards is locked in. Like, hey, you got to have this house and you got to have this big. Uh, well, first, and, which women are you talking about? Let's let's get let's get I, into this is it's, 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 it's hypothetically, but it's hypothetical. But it's a lot of women nowadays that are are, are younger that are what, adopting these. I'm saying between 20 
and, and, and even I even say up to at least at least thirty, at least thirty three. Okay, they have these, they have these standards that they're getting from older women that men are supposed to have. Okay. But they're only taking the standards that their mothers and grandmothers <laughs> are giving them. Just the 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 golden standards that you know the man got to have the house, the man got to provide, he got the vehicle, he's supposed to be a protector X, Y, and Z. Mm-hmm. Well, along with that set of standards, this was another set of standards that your mother also gave to you that you also supposed to take with this shit. You supposed to cook. You supposed to clean. This house is supposed to be in order. These kids is to be in order. It should be no worries on your man because your man is dealing with all the worries of the world and how to figure out how to make maintain this house, how to pay these bills, uh, how to provide for you, how to provide for these kids, how to make sure he's the first protector. He did all his shit. You are neglecting the other thing that you're supposed to do as a woman to make his life easy. And tell me if I'm wrong because it's Listen, my grand like my grandparents and was like that. Like, well, my my grandfather lost his arm and he couldn't work, so he couldn't work no more. So my grandmother was the provider, right? And the roles kind of reversed. She went to work and everything, but my grandfather cooked every day, made sure his house was clean, made sure that yard was clean. Anything broke around his house because he was home all day. Just because he was a man, he can do it. He had fixed it to his best ability with one arm. He had one arm. His wife can only work. He got a disability check, but his disability check, all of his, all of his check he got, went to every paid whatever he ain't have a dime to him, dime to his name after that disability check came. He ain't have a dime to his name because he trusts his woman. He, he, all that went to her, to handle whatever she had to handle. Is th- that's the thing? That's the thing nowadays. It's like, yo, I got the house, but you don't want to cook. Now I have the money. I got the money. We got the money that you said I'm supposed to have. What? But every time I walk in this fucking crib, this crib is fucking trifling. That's that's why I'm a big you believer know. in having these kind. Not to cut you off, but not that's why I'm a big believer in having these conversations before you get married, and honestly, before you even before <clears> you <throat> even become yeah before you even become serious. Yo, what do you like? What do you do? What do you boom boom boom? boom. What are your values? Because your values can change as time goes along, and you can fall into roles. Yeah. Um, some people fall into the opposite roles. Um, traditional roles is the man goes out and works and does, you know, pays all the, you know, as far as money, pays all the bills and the wife stays home, um, cleans the house, rears the children and takes the money and make sure all the bills get paid on time. And the husband, can, like, it's, it's really like a, you know, mm-hmm. a seamless operation. And sometimes those roles are reversed. I don't think that's a real full on conversation all the time. It's just kind of the way the chips fall. Then you have the people who both work and have nannies and stuff like that. So I just think that like, that's why I'm a big believer in living with each other before you get married. So you know if it makes sense or not, because that's, that, that's kind of the trial run. Because, but the thing is, Dre is it's, it seems like now it's hard and it's harder getting to live with a person because it's like, it's hard because these women are putting these fucking gold standards for men to have. And it's like, it's cool. And, and, and what's crazy as a man, like you want the baddest chick, you want the finest one. You want the, you want the one that you can brag about, mm-hmm. but you're going out fucking. A lot of them can't cook, bro. I know, but you're going out killing yourself to date these women, to get these women. And you doing all this shit for them, but they are, they are so quick to fucking be out. When you hit a little, when you hit a little bump in the road, because mm. everything ain't gonna be peaches and cream. That's a fact. You know what I'm saying? You hit a little bump, you hit a little stumble, man. Fuck, I, babe, I lost my job. Shit about to get tight Yo, around. Give me a favor, like, cute, cute. That's not me. That's we can, hear, that's we can hear that buzz. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, we can hear that all against the just, desk. Yeah, I just muted my shit, but that bump in the road comes. I lost my job, babe. Like we're gonna have to tighten up on some shit around the crib. It's sad when I see dudes on stories on, 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 on social media like, yo, man, I lost my job. Can you believe this? This bitch just left me. She's talking about she can't do this shit. Like, it's only been like two weeks. Like, I understand shit fucked up, but like, the bills are still getting paid, but I can't get her hair, hair and nails done. Now she want to be out. After you done put in months and, and time with this motherfucker, 
Like, if I invested all this into you and shit's golden, when shit gets bad, I don't expect you to be there. Y'all speak on that because I know no. y'all seen it on social media. No, I mean that's that's what your relationship is, though. You know what I mean? Like, there's signs of that before you even get into that, before you even get into a serious, serious situation with this woman or girl or guy, whomever you decide to date. You know what I mean? When you get into a situation, when you start dating them, you kind of see these flags as they come. Little things happen. If they ready to just not talk to you over some shit or just, you know what I mean, ready to leave or or I can't be around you or or there's, period, there's a day that goes by where y'all not even conversating because of something small, then you know that when there's a serious situation, you're going to be headed into some turmoil in your relationship because you're not going to know what to expect. Is, are they going to be willing to stay? Are they going to be willing to work this out? And and the communication got to be strong. If that shit ain't there, then you're not going to motherfucking... You should already know that something like you losing your job and not being able to do the one thing that they may like to do is going to cause a situation. So, I mean, I don't I don't know if you can see it as a person, but I see that shit before, before I go down that route. It's character. It's, yeah, so, a, it's cool. all character. Um, but, here, let, me, let me jump in real quick. Go ahead. Go ahead. So I, what I think when it comes to that is people got a right to leave if the situation ain't like what they wanted. Mm. Right? So you um, think I'd rather, I rather the person leave when it gets rough. Yep. I'd rather. So that, all right, cool. Now I know what it is with you. Now I know for sure. So when I'm up, I ain't gotta waste my time thinking if you out here fucking around on me or if you gonna leave me if it get rough again. Because the only thing, the only thing guaranteed in life is rough times. Period. That's and that's death. a guarantee. And death. That's the only thing that's truly guaranteed is rough times. At any point in time, the richest motherfucker in the world has rough times in different ways. So that's guaranteed. And people ain't always gonna be at their best. Mm -hmm. So if you leave when I'm at my lowest peace and that person who leaves when you're at your lowest has the right to leave if it ain't like how they want but the consequences that come with that is you can't come back when shit get good girl go have a go have a blast with uh with jimmy and them so you know what I'm saying? This, but this is what pisses me off right jimmy about that situation because we just did an episode where we listened to commentary of a man providing everything to his wife and he was going through tough times and his wife had a secret account and she didn't help him out yeah you know she just left him for he left he had to figure it out if i'm providing every single thing you need and everything you want and you need i should be able to count on you when shit get rough because i made sure you live like a queen and i was your king if if something bad happens to me, I expect you to have my back. Like, that's what I'm saying about the two standards. I'm gonna step in like, after, after you get done. Yeah, I get what I'm saying. That's why I talk about the two standards like the man having the great house, the good car, and the well paying job. Like, you gotta look at it like, yo, what what the fuck did you you gotta look like what the fuck did you bring? Like right. your car's your car's fucked up. So if my car gets fucking if my car ever goes down, I can't rely on your fucking car to go to work every fucking day like I can do now. My car goes down. Hey, babe, I'm taking your van. Uh, or you can drive me to work or whatever. I sit. We, we just got to figure this shit out. But we down in one vehicle right now. Or whatever. Say the house, whatever. Something happens to the house. Is your credit good enough for us to go get another place? Like, my, I fuck my credit up with this, whatever. Or I, or I fall on hard times on my financial situation. Like, is your job good enough to cover us for the next couple of months till I figure that our shit so we can get back to living li the life we were supposed to be living? Like, it kills me that y'all have these standards for these men and y'all and y'all can't do nothing. My, my dad said one thing. When y'all, only way a relationship is going to work if y'all equally yoke. That means y'all are equal. Mm -hmm. That's the only way y'all equally yoke. If one has more than the other, it's, it's never going to work you out. Y'all both yoked. got I'm equally yoked. E equally yoked. You got to be equally yoked because, like you say, like we said, you're going to fall on bad times. It's guaranteed. So I need to know when I fall on these hard times, 
yo, you got to wait until I get back. When I get back, shit's going to go back to the way it used to be. But I just need you for right now. Go ahead, Dre. So I, I agree with that. Like, that's traditionally. That's like that's like the thing when I say. This, what? That's like the thing. What happened? He dropped his pen. No, no, no. I'm coming back. Give me one second. Give me one second. See what happens. See, I, see what happens. I didn't know my uh, computer was unplugged. Um, and it said low battery. I'm like, oh shit. So, um, so that reminds me of something, right? Now, oh yeah, I was saying that reminds me of when I talk about people cheating and how the world should go is, hey, if you cheat, tell me so I can actually, you know, deal with it head on and 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 be able to deal with it. But most people are like, no, I just won't tell you and catch me if you can, bitch. So. Yes, in a, in a perfect world, you are equally yoked. Both of y'all are at the same point in time, at the same time, where you guys can help each other and, and be the pillar underneath each other, right? But I also, that, that reminds me of something I thought about in the past. And it was, we all depend on our significant other and our significant other depends on us, right? It's very codependent, and which can be good but not in all cases. In the case that you're talking about, if that person decides that they don't want to be down no more, then it's bad, right? It's bad because it's like, shit, I depended on you and you rolled on me, which every human has the right to do if they don't feel like they want to be there for whatever reason. What if you fucking, you know, just excuse my French, but what if your dick don't work, right? And you married for better or for worse and hold on. And she like, yeah, now nah, I can't get down with that. I got to roll on you. Or what if you lose your job or I'm, I'm going to use something better because, I mean, we all lost our job before. What if you were making millions and now you lost that pipeline to the millions, right? And she says, shit, I'm used to a certain lifestyle and I'm not getting that and I leave. You are so dependent on her that it it, it takes, you know, it, it, it kind of takes you aback a little bit, right? And you're like, fuck, I'm dependent on her. This is wrong. Boom, boom, boom. I thought, what if men go back to just kind of like depending on yourself. And I'm, I'm going to show you what I mean when I say depending on myself. Like everything in the crib, everything that like all financial shit, everything gets done by you and and your woman is kind of like a, how can I say this? She's more like a. She's just there because you need somebody to be. She needs, she's there because you don't want to be alone. An accessory. It, that That's. Think about that and please do a deep dive. That's cool. Okay. It's all right to have that type of thinking. But when you do have that type of thing and she's just an accessory, that's what she is. If I say to myself, exactly. If I if I'm gonna say, if I'm a millionaire, I have a big house, a big car, and a huge bank account. I'm gonna upgrade my woman every two to three years when I want to. You start looking old. You're not as beautiful as you I, you used to be. You're an accessory. Now, mind you, you said an accessory. I said you that. are an accessory. I no longer want that accessory. I'm gonna go get me another young and beautiful, more attractive woman than, than you. Okay. Because that's the type of time you came. You came. You wanted me because I had everything. You didn't bring nothing to them. You wanted me because I had everything. I got everything. Why? What do you do for me? You do nothing other than me, but look beautiful on my arm. That's it. When yeah, I don't think you look beautiful on my arm no more, you got to go. Yeah, I'm going to get the next hottest one that looks better than you, and you're my new accessory. Because you're coming to me all in financial and material. You didn't come to me wanting to get to know me. You came with an assumption. Right? Yeah, I'm I'm, that's what I was about to ask. Like, saying, is that how she's can. coming? But or is that can. how you see in this, this one particular but if situation? You, but if you yeah. came to me asking me what kind of job or how much money I'm making, X, Y, Z, and all, and, and I say if I didn't, say if I met a woman and I didn't have nothing, right? I just had the bare minimum. I had the apartment, a sixty thousand dollar job a year, a fucking ninety eight fucking Corolla, whatever. And you said, "All right, cool. You got everything." Oddly I got specific. This. Get what I'm saying? 
we just and we build the empire together. And mm. and in my hard times, you stuck with me. I don't give a fuck how old you get, how how big you get, or how you look. You stuck with me through all this shit, and we built this empire together. So y'all owe and each I, other. And I held, yeah, I owe, I held okay. you. You held me down when I need to be held down, but I made sure every time I was on top, you didn't have to lift a finger. Okay. You deserve everything I got right now until I die. When I die, you deserve everything I got. But okay. you come at me and you say you didn't want to talk to me when I had this 98 Corolla. But now I get up. Now you want to talk to me now that I got this um, 23 Benz I series. And I'm my, all right, cool. You're an accessory now. Get it. Once you start looking old and you start fucking, your, your looks start diminishing and you start getting overweight, you got to go. You're not so- what I'm looking at no more. A lot, a lot of people do that. What you said, they'll they, trade in, they'll trade in their models and get new models. But let me ask y'all both a question: Is there ever a point in your life, you right now, no hypothetical, where you would want to retire your wife? Hell no. You don't ever want to retire your wife, bro. Retire? You know oh, I mean? I mean, oh, you know oh, I mean? I mean, like not work no more. Yeah, like oh, you, you I... do so well. You do so well and financially. Your wife can stay home, take if, care of the crib. She she already earned your trust. She, take she care of the did. crib. You just spoil her. And she she already did. That. I, mean, that was, I, I want that. I that's would do that goal. again. Yeah, if I had a choice, yeah, I'd do it again. Yeah, you, you didn't do it. Uh, please. No, nah, I, I, I did. She you was, know what I'm she, talking about. No, I get what you're saying. <laughs> if I'm really, go ahead, go ahead, Ken. But I'm saying I would love to do that. Yeah, I would love to say, hey, listen, we just traveling all the time. Right yeah. there, you go. All right, <laughs> I get what you're we we, Nah, we traveling right now, but we traveling on the fucking budget. But we traveling, but you know what I mean. But like right now, I need her assistance financially. I took care of the brand. I could take care of financially, and she she's gonna have a job that she's gonna be making more than me, and it ain't gonna bother me. At one one iota, it's, it is what it is. You went to school, I didn't. <laughs> go ahead, Kev. I'm sorry. I mean that that's technically the goal for I mean I assume me growing up the way I grew up that's the goal in marriage. You get to the point where you make enough money where your wife can just take care of the house and you know the things that you really don't want to do cuz I mean not for nothing as a man I don't really want to cook. I don't really want to clean. I have no problem with going out and working and making as much money as I possibly can to make sure that when I get home, everything else is good. You know what I mean? I, w- I would rather come home, put my feet up, talk to my wife, ask her how her day was, be able to give her things because she's doing things for me out of out of love and wanting to be there. So I would want to take care of her. Right now, we're nowhere near in that situation, but we take we take care of each other. You know what I mean? If there's a situation where I'm down or whatever the case may be, or I'm sick, or you know what I mean, I, I can't go to work for whatever reason, my check is gonna be short. She's gonna make sure that she can accommodate for both of us at any time when it's hard. You know what I mean? And I, and with that, I let her be celebrated, or I let her if she if there's things that she wanna to do. I make sure she's able to do them. You know what I mean? Give her her free time. Let her do stuff because she's working as equally hard as I am. So there, she shouldn't have to sacrifice the things that she wants to do because I can't accommodate to some of the other things. We figure it out one way or another. You know what I mean? And when I when it gets to the point where I have enough money to be like, yo, you ain't got to worry about none of that shit no more. That right there is would be a pleasure to me. That's something that's like, Yo, I want you to actually just be able to just chill and figure out our home. You know what I mean? Let me figure out the world and you figure out inside our home. That way we can do whatever and you have the free time to accommodate for the things that I can't do. And I will make sure financially that you don't have to worry about things. That is a goal. We're not here to get rich I mean, yeah, we all, all three of us want to be rich because we don't want to live in this poverty situation that we live in. We don't want to work and have to live check to check. And, you know, some of us have kids, God kids, uh, nieces, nephews that we take care of. You know what I mean? We want to be able to provide for all of these people that we care about that lives under our roof or lives close to us and not have to worry about, you know what I mean, where the next check comes from. 
or mm-hmm. or how how can this get paid because i gotta sacrifice one thing to pay another i'm robbing peter to pay paul and then catching paul around the corner you know <laughs> what I'm saying? like rob that nigga. Live. yeah yeah you know what i mean so oh, so to be able to do that for for the people that we care about the people that we have to raise the people that share lives with us it's just something that we have a want for and it's rewarding to me that's what that's how i feel like when i'm able to do stuff for my wife just in general like Feels she's good. like yo i gotta get i, I want to go get my nails done on this wednesday she's not asking me for money she's pretty much telling me what she plans on doing just to let me know where she's going to be at if i can send her the money just to get her nails done at that time then that's rewarding she she doesn't even expect it but if she gets yeah. it it's like oh shit, thanks babe i didn't know you know what i mean nah, nah, I go ahead, do that. you get a different saying. it's a different reciprocity that comes along with that too you know what i mean it's like she's I don't know how, who, who other people are dealing with, but with my fiance, it's she remembers these little things and then she does something to like, oh, yeah, you did this. Well, now I'm going to do this for you. you you're not going to do better than me in this giving situation. It's like a competition on Gemini. who can do the most for someone. But then again, if I'm lacking on something, she still will do that. You know what I mean? Like, yo, don't worry about it. We got this. You know what I mean? It's and that's what you look for in a wife if you can't <clears throat> you're not going to find your wife being your girlfriend you know what i mean she has to do those those wifely duties before she becomes a wife in order for you to want her to be there forever so yeah, I hear that. Yeah, I hear that young girls. girlfriend if she just playing a girlfriend role and doing things that a girlfriend would do but wouldn't do the things that a wife would do nigga, that's not going to be your wife being a girlfriend is fun. Being a wife is work. And I it's rewarding it. work, but it's work. Yeah, yeah. I hear that, young boys. I hope y'all listen. Let me ask y'all a question. Just hype. This is speaking up, to OG? This, this younger generation. Because we OGs. Do you think men, no. you think women should lower their standards or men should raise their standards standards in in the, the sex they're, they're attracted to? Now you're cooking, buddy. Now you're cooking. I'm just okay. asking. Okay. Um, should men raise their standards or women lower them? Is was your question? Yep. Um, both. So you want me to keep talking? It's cr- no, go ahead. Because I'm just gonna say this real quick. Because it seems oh, no, like I was I was done. Go ahead. <laughs> oh, it seems like it seems like women have has raised their standard in the men they was looking for in they probably got it from their mothers. Like, look, I accepted this bullshit. I don't want you. Because I tell my daughter all the time, here, listen, you're a girl. You should look for this and that and that and the quality of a man. And men, and men seem like they're still getting the same game from their father. Like, yo, you the provider. You take care of X, Y, Z. You do blah, blah, blah. But I think men should raise their standard. I think they should look at a woman. And a woman comes to them like asking them all them questions. I think in return, you should fire them the same questions because this is this is me. I'm telling. This is a personal story of mine. I, I told this off air, but I'm gonna tell it again. I was at um, it was a it's a carnival or whatever state fair in Washington Township. You know the one we everybody goes to it every year. This is me. I think I was like, I think like 21, 22 years old. But it was a female. It was a female and a girlfriend. I was trying to holler at. We was leaving, and I said. Yo, what's up? I'm running game. Da-da. She was like, Yo, you got a car? I'm like, Yeah, I got a, yeah, my whip over there. I got a um got a Bonnyville. Yeah, my body it had rims. One of the rims was cracked, but I, I, I it was a Bonnyville. So she was like, like, yeah, I got a Bonnyville, boom, 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 was over there. She was like, What? You drive up a Pontiac? Ew. I don't talk to guys with you know what I mean? Unless they got a car X, Y, Z. I think it, this was like 2004, like 2003, 2004. So I'm talking to dudes unless he got an X, you know, 2003. I'm like, what? I said, I said all right. I snapped because it pissed me off. I said, I said, bitch, what, what kind of car you drive? Just like that. Bitch, what kind of car you drive? Oh, I ain't got no car. I said, what? I said, hold up. I said, I got a fucking car. I can leave this parking lot, and this is my. I'm just. Is, I can get get in my motherfucking car, start my car up, and leave this motherfucking parking lot right now. I said, "Your fucking car is your sneakers." 
And you talk about what kind of fucking car I got? I said, man, get the fuck out of my face. Fuck out of here. Fuck you and your girlfriend. This is me. This is young boy Kev. Young boy Kev would just... <laughs> The young boy kid was you and a, your girlfriend. She's like, I ain't got nothing to do with it. <laughs> Go to straight for no reason. Yeah, She's like, I like but, money. You yeah. brought it. You brought it here. You knew what you, you knew what you was doing. Yeah, I like so money, me, sir. Because you gotta stay. That whole night was a wild night. That whole night. That night was my brother KB. We got into he got into a fight at the joint. Oh man, after, he got in a fight. Stay on over. Top. Yeah, got in a yeah. You got. <laughs> what I'm saying, top. but it pissed me off. It's like, yo. The fuck you ain't got a car, you ain't got shit to offer me. Here I am trying to holler at you. And if you wouldn't even mention my fucking car, and I know you ain't have a car, I'd probably still try to fucking talk to you. Like, why the fuck am I lowering my standards for you? You can't ever come pick me up if I don't feel like driving today. You got a place to stay? At that time, I had my own spot. You was doing I it. can't come. I can't come to your crib. You probably ain't got no place. I can't come to your crib and chill because I'm worried about when your parents come home. I ain't got that situation. You came to my crib. Ain't nobody walking through that motherfucking door other than whoever knocking on that bitch and coming to visit me. I if I want to fuck in my living room, I can fuck in my living room. This is my house. So if she was after wrong, I got, she was wrong for uh, that? Yeah, she's dead. Here, where I feel as though you're wrong for that. Yo, you checking me? You ain't got shit to offer me. Yeah, I'm about to lower my fucking standards for you. What if she came from a rich family? Oof. Obviously, I'm saying that because these are these obviously are she ain't getting no fucking money because she was old enough to drive. You rich, <laughs> they ain't even buy you a fucking car. <laughs> Not even a you car. Mm. Get what I'm saying? Like fuck, fuck out my face, if, bitch. If she, my time. if she said whatever oh, year your car, whatever year your car was, because I want us to move through that. I want us to, we got to go. We're moving. We're moving. We got to get out of that. It was just, just, it was just, it was just, it was just, it wasn't, it ain't about the year card. I know they get stuck, stuck on. It's just that I had something. I was willing to lower my standards for you, but you got this standard up here. Why can't men have this standard up here? Why can't men be like, yo, I have a car. This is the car I got. Do you have a car? No, I can't talk to you then. Or no you nigga's can. gonna no nigga's gonna do that because you so busy looking at the face, the uh, ass, and the titties. I don't, I don't think that they I don't think that that's what it is anymore. Yeah. I think what do you number think it is two, now? Number two, and number two, I really wanted to, to jump in earlier. I don't think they're getting. None of us are getting our standards from fucking like what the women. Fuck I get from my what fuck standards I get from my dad. Like he ain't break. He ain't sit me down like son. You want a woman who can cook? You want a they woman? They don't. Women. I'm but, saying, guess, hold, give me a second. What? Because we gonna be the fucking dead horse. Yeah. I'm saying that the standards that they're getting now. This oh you gotta have this. You gotta be this. Are coming from society and social media. Just like we have standards or or younger men have standards on what they want their women to look like. Look like. Right? Jesus. We They want the girl with the fat ass. They want the girl with the big titties. She got to be gorgeous. Done up. Edges got to be it. fucking all the way down her eyebrows. Lay, all the way laid. A hundred percent of the time she got to be fly. Yo, she got to cook too because I be seeing chicks on there cooking. Like we all they all have the same standards that are out of balance that they just aren't real because of social media. And then the reason why it's different with us is the rise of couple pages. The rise of couple pages oh online God. has made a lot of unreasonable and just plain fake expectations of what being a couple even is. Now, mm -hmm. Okay. Y'all about to make me snap on this couple shit. Oh. Yes. Yeah, yeah, but you know, let's let's when you snap. I'm saying this lane. I'm gonna yeah. stay in this lane. Snap with some substance. <laughs> <All right. laughs> it's, it's a couple of things. A lot of people were so fucking happy and applauded, and was so elated 
a lot of black people in black culture so late when Jada Pickett Smith, I don't know how she got three names, was picked on by Chris Rock and Will Smith got up out of his seat and he slapped the dog shit out of Chris Rock. Niggas was like, yeah, that's how you stick up for your wife. That's how black men supposed to, black men stand up for black women. Everybody was happy. Just to come back now and today to find out this bitch talked about me and Will ain't been together in seven fucking years. He should smack her like that, right? Yeah, I'm just saying. He should slap the dog shit out. That's social media. That was all social media. It was all across social media. Everybody was this. Yo, you should stand with Will. This is a black couple. Black power. Black couple. Yo, man. Papoose. Went to to that prison every single fucking day. Breaks my heart, bro. To go see Remy Ma every fucking day. Sacrifice his career. Remember, I was a big Papoose fan. Had all the mixtapes. Like, yo, Pap is. I was yo, doing y'all head. You had I mean, red. You had red monkey jeans because of uh, Pap. Exactly. Yeah, red monkey oh, jeans because of Pap. Or telling niggas Pap the next thing to blow. Pap sacrificed. Papoose sacrificed his career for Remy Ma. Speak. Just for this. Just for her to cheat on this nigga with a bad rapper that looked just like him. And I know this nigga. Like that battle rapper, she cheating on this nigga. I seen this nigga. I think I seen him at a battle before. Get to cheat on this nigga with a battle rapper. It's black love, everything, black excellence. Duh, 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 duh. All over social media, everybody bigging it up. Just so y'all should be the standard. Like it's a fucking joke. My man, um, Jordan Luker had a song. It's called Will. And mm-hmm. in this verse, he said, I wish I can find a he said, I wish I could find a chick like Jade. I ain't even find her yet. I'm just paraphrasing. I ain't even find her yet. She's not, she's nothing like Jada. <clears throat> Nigga, you happy she's nothing like Jada. You should be elated. Social media just blows with expectations and relationships and everything. Supposed- I'm glad that I'm the age I am. I'm glad that social media, I look at social media, me and my girl, we laugh at it because we know that it's fucking fake. I come from the era where when Styles P and all them wrapped around about killing niggas and all that shit, I'm like, they're just joking. I'm not doing that shit. Them niggas is home from jail. (laughs) All younger generation listen to social media too fucking much that shit is not real all this black love and shit i see niggas all the time talking this gang oh provide for your women do this and that for your women and y'all niggas is cheaters or y'all niggas your wife leave you and fuck another nigga Mm -hmm. all all types of shit it's social media is what it is it's made to make likes the like they shit have a huge following and clicks for plays mm-hmm. and everything is meant it's like a TV show with ratings they make storylines for you to come back to turn into that bitch next week that's what social media is they every time they make a post they make a post for you to come back and light it why do you think a bitch when she makes a video of her waking up in the morning her makeup is dead she may have a scarf on her head to make it look like she just woke up in the morning. Well, but who set up emotion. the camera also? Yes, who set up the It's the yeah. cleanest. Have you ever seen your wife's scarf? They scarf look like it needs to be washed three months ago. No, my wife got the... Hold on, let me let me show you what my wife got. Keep talking. I'm going to show you what she got. But it's the cleanest scarf you ever seen. The bonnet ain't got no holes in it. Ain't no nicks in the motherfucker. The nails is done. The eyelashes is done. I wish I could see my wife wake up every morning like a bitch talk about they woke up and about to cook breakfast for their nigga. Even when they making food and the presentation of the food. It makes you fucking hungry looking at this shit. This thing, bitches ain't the shit I've seen on social media. <laughs> that shit look different. This shit was golden and crisp and brown. This shit burnt on the edges. Damn. It tastes good. Stop. It tastes good. Stop watching social media. It's made for clicks and likes. That black love Never shit, mind. that shit is that shit is dumb. It's dumb. I, but I, I'm I'm getting off the subject. I wanted, Go to, ahead. I wanted to jump in. Kev, you drunk. Go ahead, jump in. Um, I jump wanted in. to um jump in with the uh storyline thing. I remember there's this guy I like watching, and then we can then I could jump off this. 
there's this guy I like watching. His name's uh, Corey SSG. I don't know how he came into my algorithm, but he came into my algorithm and I just like, I like watching him. So he's been with this one girl. Like my niece know who this guy is and my wife knows who this guy is and all that shit. And I'm like, I'm like, all right. (laughs) I'm like, all right, that's weird. I say that to say he's been with the same girl since high school and they have a couple, like they do like couples content. Right. Mm -hmm. And they did this whole thing where they, it was like TV, television produced where they had a they had them meet at a site and like go over their grievances of why they were getting a divorce and all this other shit, like all this crazy shit. Then you see this nigga online talking about some, yeah, we got y'all then we did it, did it. Like, yo, it was the craziest shit ever. My thing is I'm looking I'm like, oh, they tripping. And I turned it to something else anyway. But I'm like, yo, that's crazy that they, you know, whatever, whatever. And they really did it. For more for more people to just tune into whatever else they had to say. It's the craziest shit in the world. So imagine a young person watching that shit, seeing them do this. Now I'm a young person. Yo, I'm gonna do everything for I'm gonna do everything for, for YouTube. I'm gonna do everything. I'm gonna jump off a fucking bridge. I'm gonna do whatever it takes. Delete my husband to K account. That, yeah, that, that bullshit. I'm a, oh my god. Yo, they gonna do I want to do my PS5 in the waters. I will suplex that bitch off the top of the roof at the highest point. Yeah, that's crazy. But yeah, you do it for views too. No, you do I, it for I, views. It'd be no views. You will get. It'll be a will viewing. Get, you will, it'll be a viewing. <laughs> you will get suplex off the highest point on my roof. The highest point I can find. <laughs> and, and you <laughs> built it so you know where it's sturdy at. <laughs> exactly. We're going from the highest point. Straight all old school. <laughs> Hulk Hogan <laughs> suplex. Nigga, old school Cage Hulk Hogan suplex. Love, nigga. Mm. And roll over and look at her, hit it with the motherfucker John C. <laughs> From off the roof? She off did already. Right. After, after I get it, hit it she with the did. John C. Like, but you can't roll. see me. <laughs> Elbow, Girl, you with the, that's what the judge you gonna do when he lock your ass up. <laughs> Girl, you like with this. the PS5 in the water. He wants life. <laughs> life. <laughs> No parole. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but no, but I, listen, but I, that's what I'm saying. I just want people because we're about to wrap this shit up. I want people to have realistic expectations of relationship. It's is good. It is great for women to have standards. You should, as a woman, set standards as you, in yourself. For a man that you meet, yeah, he should have a job. He should have a car. He should have a place to somewhat a place to lay his head at, because that lets you that lets you know he has responsibilities and he's well, and he's willing to take care of him. Because say if you get pregnant, he that's a responsibility that he's willing to take care of. Yeah, Absolutely. but but let me make this clear, niggas. You can't be outrageous with your shit. I'm sorry. It's dating down if I'm a millionaire dating a Wendy's cashier because she's fine and her ass is fat. I don't, I don't see nothing wrong with that. But go ahead. I'm no, I, I do. Why? Why not get a nurse with a fat ass or a doctor with a fat ass or woman with her own class. practitioner with a fat ass? Because they out there. I seen plenty of fucking doctors. Well, I shop, I shop at Wendy's, not the hospital. What's wrong? I'm saying, what's wrong with a McDonald's? Yeah, what what I'm the, saying, the, big, I, here's whack. the thing. I ain't nothing wrong with a McDonald's right. worker, but if hard. I'm a construction worker, up an hour now. If I'm a construction worker and I'm dating a McDonald's worker, that's cool. But I'm not going to be a nigga that runs a multi million dollar business and look at the I roll through the cat, roll through the McDonald's drive through. Look at that bitch like, oh, that's my, ooh, Bro, oh, my she the one that. that she the one that cook. She the one that know how to take care of kids. She didn't want to know how to do all that. What you mean? Nah, nah, I'm gonna get me. I'm gonna get nah. me. <laughs> I go see my doctor, and she ain't married, and she fine, and she got her own business. She's married. She a, nah, now all of them is married because they put their career ahead of they in front of their fucking you were personal life, buddy. I'm just saying. If I find, if I was a, listen, if I was a, say I made it to the NBA and I was a millionaire, 
Kev, Kev, would you would you fuck the McDonald's worker? Oh, I'm gonna fuck the dog. Now, what if you what if you brought her home and then you found out that you actually liked her? She had substance to her life. I How would you dog. know what the McDonald's worker I has been or the what dog she's capable of? of? She's you, amazing, by the way. Yeah, your Uber is on its way. She has a heart of gold. <laughs> Listen, uh, your Uber is on its way. You wake I'm up not, with, with I'm all your not, tears bro. in order and the refrigerator. Like she's just perfect. I don't care. Man, you ain't no I'm, better. You ain't no better than the girl who said I'm a basketball with you because you had a Bonneville. I'm you ain't saying, no I, better I'm than the non Bonneville. Yo, like hit the claps. Bitch. Hit the claps. You ain't no better than the non Bonneville liking bitch who's walking. Don't don't hit it. You know what? It's okay. Damn. Ew. <laughs> <laughs> we don't need them no more. Yo, I don't give a fuck. I even old played, but um, because I can't even hear shit. I'm sorry, yo. Yeah, listen, sorry. listen, listen. No, dead ass, dead ass, real shit. If I was a ball player or if I had millions, I'm real shit. I'm gonna be looking at a girl that has her own practice and shit. I'm like, yo, she kind of you ain't got nobody. Let's, let's go out and eat. Because I'm saying to myself, like, yo, you got your own business. I got millions, like. You you got that hustle in you. I know you can do something. She also doesn't have time on her hands like you would have, like like the girl at McDonald's. She got too much. The one at McDonald's. This got is all. Too this much. is a, it's a the different one conversation. At the one at McDonald's got too much time on her hands. That means this nigga slide up in the spot. Got too much time on your hands, dog. We both hustling to get money and shit like that. Bro, how do you I know? Need a motherfucker, you know? I need a motherfucker busy like me that I know ain't. In, it, hey, yo, we you both must got downtime. Them it's us. Shows. You ain't watch Grey's Anatomy. None of them shits. These niggas be fucking in fucking the, each in other. The, in, yeah, in the in the rooms. You think she out there giving surgery, but really she just giving head. You yeah. know what I mean? Don't ever yeah. think. And that. she don't need don't your ever, money. So yeah. it's all good. She don't. That's cool. That's even better. But the yeah, McDonald's that the, the that, McDonald's chick know that you her meal ticket. She ain't fucking that up. She ain't gonna let Raheem in. Damn, Damn. house the fucker. Raheem, that one. Damn. <laughs> okay, <laughs> Brian. Raheem. Somebody else. Damn. Brian. Damn. My cousin Raheem. Chet. She ain't gonna let Chet in. That's, my, that's one of my. That's one of my favorite cousins. Oh. <laughs> I, I checked Raheem one time. I thought he was fucking my girl, but it wasn't true because he liked Look the at dude. You. I was gonna say you tripping. <laughs> I was tripping. He didn't even like what he was getting he at. He pushed was... and said, "Cause you got this way fucked up." <laughs> <laughs> that's my. That's you my heart. Hey, respect me like that. That's again. my. That's my heart, though. I love Raheem. Oh, that's my man. dog. That's my heart right too. there, man. But go ahead, wrap it up. Yeah, let's wrap it up, man. Listen, I, this is how I'm gonna wrap this shit up, like. It's cool. I think it's okay to have standards, reasonable and respectable standards, and really stop looking at social media to get your standards. Look what's in your own heart and what you're looking for in life and in love and what you expect from your partner and take it from there. Okay. We out. This is another episode of Painted Podcast. Um, Tune in next next time to another live show, man. We out. Hit the hit the end button. Peace.